Hey there, it's Anthony here on Edu Power Tools, and I'm here today to talk to you about labels in Gmail. So it's just another kind of technique to help you stay organized and on top of things in Gmail because your inboxes can get kind of unwieldy uh, after a time if you don't tend to uh, stay on top of it. So um, these are some ideas to kind of help you kind of stay on top of things. So labels in, in Gmail are here on the left hand side. So some labels you have no control over like inbox, starts, news, sent, drafts, all mail, things like that. You um, don't really have any control over. Those are the standard ones that are in everybody's Gmail inbox. So you're not going to mess with those. The ones that we're talking about today are beneath those. Okay, they're um, ones that you kind of create. So I've created a few to kind of give you an example of what I do with labels. So uh, first thing I do is I create a, a master label called file, and then I post a whole bunch of these underneath it. And these are um, like kind of project management ideas. So um, I have an inbox, kind of a catch-all place. If I know it's something I need to be working on, I'm gonna create the inbox under file. And I, I all cap it so that it's different from my actual inbox, my email inbox. So this is a catch-all place for any kind of projects that I know are either coming up or I'm working on, or um, I just got an email about, or something like that, I'll throw it into the inbox, and I'll sort through them later. Uh, next action is going to be a folder, uh, it's going to be a label that's going to tell me I need to do that next. So whatever I'm working on now, when that's finished, I need to work on the next item that's in that label. Someday is something that can be worked on some other time, no rush, nothing pressing on that one. Do now is what I need to be working on right this minute. It's super important. It needs to get done right now. Uh, to do is just a generic to-do list. I kind of have that just to kind of be a second catch-all, but you don't really need a, a to-do folder there. Um, and then waiting for is if I am uh, waiting on an item from somebody else, I've emailed a request for some more information or for a file or something like that that's gonna go into the waiting for folder and then completed is when it's completed. So these are labels that I've created that work for me and they may not work for you and that's okay, but they're, they're labels. And then I have a second set of labels here for schools because I work for schools. Um, I have, and I've created just kind of imaginary schools in, in this idea. So elementary school, middle school, high school, so that each school has a different label. So I've got labels kind of telling me what my priority is for a particular project or a particular email and then labels to tell me uh, what school it relates to basically okay so what I can do with those labels is I can when I get an email I can apply the labels um, to them and what I can do with labels is I can actually apply multiple labels so here's an email that I sent myself for my school email address saying that I've got a super important project that I need done for the elementary school. It needs to be done ASAP. Can I please get started on this today and let me know what you need to be done as quickly as possible. So right now it's just in my inbox and the labels you see here up top are um, what labels they're in. So right now it's on inbox. Okay. To add other labels, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I can do a couple of things. I'm going to go up here to the top row here and these are my labels. So I'm going to click on labels and you're going to see that I have all of my labels listed here. Now there's a couple of things because it's specific to the elementary school. I'm going to give it the elementary school label. And because this guy seems really urgent that it needs to be done immediately, I'm going to put it in my do now label. All right. And then I'm going to click apply. So now not only is it in my inbox here with all my other messages, but it's also got these labels file due now and schools elementary school. So and I, I know I need to do it now in elementary and I needs to be for the elementary school. And that's how you're going to apply multiple labels to an email. Again, what I did was I clicked on the email message, I went up to the labels button, I clicked on that, and I selected the labels that I wanted to do. You can also drag and drop emails in Gmail. Um, so I can click on this and I can drag it and drop it to whatever um, box I want it to go into. All right, um, and then the other nice thing about labels, which is this is getting a little bit more geeky in terms of labels, is you can set colors. So for file, I can set the label color here. I can make that be blue, and uh, I can choose that it's just that, or it's also my sub labels as well. So I'm just going to set file as um, blue, and then inbox I'm going to make like uh, green. And then do now, I'm going to make like red so it's super um, visible. 
All right, and you see that changed the label color here to red. So that kind of sticks out to me a little bit more. Um, and then for elementary school, because the school color is uh, orange, I want to make that be orange. Okay, so now I see that this is this email right here is marked red to do now, and it's for the elementary school, which is orange. And that's how I do multiple labels. And you can go through your different label, the different emails, and apply the labels to each of them, just like that. I hope you found that helpful. If you need any help with this or anything else, please let me know. I'm happy to be of assistance to you. Uh, and other than that, I hope you have a great day.